controls, some issues with controls. You can use your WASD key to walk around and you can use the button on the left but, uh, bottom corner to mute and unmute yourself. That's what it does. So the event is going to take place in about one minute. We'll be going to the auditorium over there uh, with the big A. That will will give a, lot, a thin, 10 minute introduction about this space and then we'll just go explore it. I think we can actually start moving there. So uh, for the people that are still hanging around here, we'll be going to the auditorium over there with the big red A. Uh, you can join us there and we'll give a 10 minute introduction to uh, RTO and this HP. Feel free to follow me. <laughs> so you can use uh, WSD keys to move around or click on a surface and you will walk there, double click on the surface to teleport there. Or... <clears throat> below, the, below the auditorium. Um, okay, if I follow you, where? Get my stuff off. No, I'm like all stuck over here. <laughs> Can't even be in the middle of the Hey, everyone. I'm going to be gathering some more people. I see there's still <laughs> some people hanging around the spawn point. Yep. Oh, yeah. well, you guys. Yeah, you guys just a quick uh, notice that uh, we'll give people maybe like five to ten minutes just to gather in the space and then we'll get started with the presentation. Okay, I found you. Yes. Yeah, I think I got it. I think the issue was it was on my monitor, so I think it was all backwards. So I was like trying to do it on my external monitor, so nothing was making sense. But uh, I think we're good. Oh, perfect. So just when time comes, you know, I'll invite you to jump on stage and then we can, you know, uh, talk about our little announcement. Um, and we'll just take it from there. Okay, great. And then the stage right now, where the sound up is at. And, uh, I'm about to, to send you the, the slides as well. Okay, great. That sounds good. This is really cool.
say that. I need to get a disaster sleep song. Hey, hey. Yeah, I was just looking. Um, did you go? Like, have you got the actual stage part? Do you jump over to there, or is it you go on the back part? I'm just looking at that piece. So. Oh, there we go. Okay, thank you. Search for uh, RQ okay. through the VR. So hello, everybody. Um, we're about getting started with the main presentation. So if you could head to the auditorium, um, we're about to, to get started. Thank you. Yes. So the building with the big A heading there now. Okay, so I think we're ready to get going. Just so you know, we turn spatial audio off for now, um, so everybody can hear me. Uh, that means that if you do unmute yourself, uh, everybody will hear what you say. But enough said, let's get going with the presentation.
So welcome everybody. Um, I hope you all can hear me. Um, I hope you heard the audio on the video. Um, but uh, if not, then you know that's technology for you. So it's oh perfect. So it's great to see yeah. so many of you could join us here today for this event. Um, my name is Helmar Gunnarsson and I'm the founder and CEO of Archeo. So when we started Archeo five years ago, we set out to make spatial design better and more collaborative than using flat screen design tools. So we want to give spatial designers superpowers, whether they're designing real buildings, game environments, or virtual spaces in VR and AR. And we've come a long way in these five years. Here we are inside the auditorium of Archeo HQ, designed in Archeo in VR and hosted by our friends at Spatial. We're just getting started, however, there's just so much potential when it comes to immersive spatial design. Our mission remains the same, basically to create a spatial design tool of tomorrow, empowering people to design, collaborate, and connect across realities. So for those of you that are new to Archeo, you can download Archeo for free on any of the app stores or at archeo.is to try it out. Archeo is available for VR, desktops, tablets, and phones, and our goal is to get Archeo into as many hands as possible to help shape the future of spatial design. Now, we had a major milestone on this road a month ago when we went live on the Quest App Store and introduced a host of new and exciting features. And Johan Hanegraaf, our head of product, is going to tell us more about what's new in Archeo. Hey, Johan. Hey, everyone. So in the last few months, we've been adding many new features to Arcu that enable new ways of creation and collaboration. We've updated our rendering to allow up to five times larger imported models on the Quest. And we introduced meta avatars so users can express themselves and collaborate more naturally. We've also added pass-through modeling so you can create geometry on top of your real surrounding and mix realities between VR and AR. We've also introduced components uh, that harness Arcu's parametric engine and give a glimpse of the things to come. And last but not least, we added a fully bi-direction integration with Unity. So you can bring your level designs to Arcu, move objects and add new geometry and update all these changes back to Unity. We're here today in the new Arcu HQ that's been designed by Richard Allen Foster, an architect and thought leader been exploring how new technologies could enhance our design process. Can you come to the stage and tell us a bit about your design, uh, Richard Tell? Sure. Thank you, Johan. I am excited to be here today. Let me tell you a bit about where we are. This is Archeo HQ. We, we think this might be the first virtual corporate campus designed in the metaverse that was modeled inside the metaverse. And Archeo HQ was conceived as a landing space, an example of what could be built using Archeo. When you launch Archeo, you launch into Archeo HQ. Now, when I began the design process, I took a lot of inspiration from the incredible surrealistic landscapes of Iceland. Archeo is an Icelandic company, of course. It's, it is a land of extremes, of fire and ice. Um, dark and light it, it's just so incredible it really inspired so much of what i what i kind of created here um now i would imagining what sort of buildings we wanted to start with um for for archeo hq we really thought about three types of uses first there is the gallery building if you'll click to the next slide hillmore yeah, so we have the gallery building uh, for hosting artists and user showcase, we have our auditorium, which is where we are right now for events just like this. Then there is a meeting and a training building for learning how to work with Archeo. And it is intended that Archeo HQ will grow and mature over time. That's the really great thing about virtual architecture is it, is it gets to mature and, and update so much, so much easier than physical architecture. In fact, we were hoping to have hotspots for all of the seats, but honestly, having everybody stand on their seats makes for a much more festive event today. So, um, fantastic. We'll roll that out later. Um, now, we always imagined that our gallery wouldn't be just for looks, that it, was, it would actually be a functioning gallery to host rotating exhibits. If you want to click to the next slide, Hilmer. 
And today we are excited to be hosting our first virtual gallery opening with several fantastic artists. First, we have the incredible photo essay of Icelandic landscapes called Iceland Wonders by Jay Kyron. His photographs inspired much of the mood of today's environment. In the sculpture garden, we have the virtual sculptures of Pieter Magnusson, which were also created inside of Archeo. And we have two user showcases exhibiting what can be built inside of Archeo with architect Greg Davey and the incredible imaginative constructs by VR designer Roshan Butts. So thank you so much for being here. Johan, I'm gonna pass it back to you. <laughs> so uh, Archeo's been used today by architects, game designers, and virtual world builders, students, hobbyists, and many more. Archeo removes some of the complexities that typical flat screen 3D tools have and allow more people to explore and create spatial designs together. Thanks, Johan. So <clears throat> we're pretty excited about uh, all of this. Uh, you know, Rita Tarun has done a fantastic job of designing, you know, the, the Archeo Metaverse headquarters in Archeo. And to be able to bring this space into spatial uh, and be here with all of you today is it's an amazing experience, to, to be honest. So, but uh, we have something interesting to, to announce. Now, um, we've shown with this space uh, what's possible to do when designing in VR in Archeo and uh, making this available inside spatial. So now it's time to get some more people involved and see what the community can do with Archeo and Spatial to really push the boundaries of immersive design forward. So I'm happy to announce that we are teaming up with Figment and Spatial for a design challenge to create the metaverse headquarters of Figment using Archeo and Spatial. So please welcome Holly from Figment and Tyrone from Spatial to the States, and they're going to tell you a little bit more about this initiative. Hey guys, I'm a... Yeah, you're on mute now. Yeah, I'm struggling here a little bit as I'm joining y'all. Um, Tyrone, do you want to say hello first? Yeah, I think I might just talk to y'all from the back here. <laughs> Tyrone, do you want to do you want to kick it off and uh, you know say your question first? Woo. Thank you. Thank you so much for, uh, for, for that intro. Um, I'm actually you know, just having a little bit of the computer difficulties here, but I think it makes even more sense to speak to you guys from the community because that's really what we're, we're looking for, right? We want to really bring this to the community and as, as Tyrone said, see, see what could be built. Um, a little bit of background on, on Figment um, for, for all of you who don't actually know 
um, Figment's been around about four years. Um, we're a Web3 company. We started with staking. Um, you know, the name Figment actually came because they didn't know if, if this uh, proof of stake was going to, um, you know, end up coming to fruition. So it kind of could be a figment of their imagination. Um, it definitely obviously has not been that route. Um, and so we realized a couple of years ago that, you know, to truly be a Web3 company, we need to really engage in Web3. Um, and also, you know, uh, teach it to our employees as well. So we have begun something called Figment Learn, which is now branched off into Builder DAO, which is a partnership with a number of um, blockchain protocols in the space, such as the Graph, Ceramic, uh, Pith, um, and a few others. Uh, we have a Web3 fund, and then I personally work for Figment's Data Hub, which is going to be your command center for building all of your Web3 projects, protocols, um, you know, really taking your idea to the next step. So we're really excited to do this project. This is the second kind of project where we're really diving into Web3. Last year, we uh, surprised all of our employees with uh, an NFT for Christmas. We decided if we're going to give out swag, let's make it Web3 swag. And for some people, it was actually their first time ever interacting with a wallet. Um, you know, so that was a really great experience for us. And we're trying to do the same thing here with this process, the spatial and archeo is, you know, to really work through all of the steps with you guys with multiple touch points, Twitter space, AMAs, live coding sessions here in Archeo's headquarters, um, multiple check-in points for people and see if their idea is on point, if it's matching kind of what we're looking for in the Figment headquarters. And really what we want in the Figment headquarters is being a global company. We want a place where all of our employees can interact, engage, uh, where we can host events, where we can live stream our hacker houses and different events that, you know, people aren't actually able to get to due to COVID, due to travel, due to a number of reasons, you know, and Spatial has been an amazing partner for us. And what I've seen from what our keel can build and achieve, we're really excited to, to see how this uh, contest plays out. Thanks a lot, Holly, and uh, thanks, Tyrone. Great to be working with you guys on this. So the, the design challenge will basically run until August 14. Uh, you know, winners will be announced by the end of August. We'll be announcing a lot more details uh, on the challenge in the next few weeks. Uh, we are starting next Monday, May 16th, with a live event where we'll demonstrate the workflow between Archeo and Spatial, and questions on that. Uh, we also put up a, a blog post on our help center uh, about this workflow, uh, if you want to get started. And uh, we'd like to encourage you to join the Archeo Discord for updates and support. Uh, you know, we'll be basically like, giving you live support and you know, hands-on trips uh, during the challenge. Uh, uh, during uh, basically the summer. So this is, you know, uh, really, really exciting stuff and we can't uh, wait to see what the community comes up with. Uh, so this is it. Uh, I mean, uh, we wanted to gather you here today to show you this this beautiful space created by, by Richard Allen Foster uh, to tell you about this design challenge. We hope to inspire the community uh, in terms of like what's possible to do with these types of design tools uh, and hosting these types of spaces inside Spatial. Uh, please feel free to stick around, uh, check out ArchKHQ, you know, check out the amazing exhibits in the gallery building. And lastly, if you haven't tried ArchKio, please check it out on the app stores or on ArchKio.is. Uh, we'd love to hear what you think. We're doing this pretty much you know, for the community so your feedback is super important to us. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming today. Really awesome. This is such a cool partnership. Hi, how are you? Hey, good, good. <laughs> how did you like it?
it really is uh, it's amazing to see what's possible to do when you kind of bring this into space shops. Mike, do you want to be my partner? <laughs> oh, sorry. We're already standing up, so. Uh, I think I've done that. I toggled it back on. Yeah. I think you have to the audio. Yeah, that should be working now. You guys hear me, right? Spatial audio. No? So please feel free to like explore the space, check out the galleries. Uh, we're here to answer any questions you know you may have. I just want to say. Yeah, let's Humor, I just want to say thank you for your time last week and uh, thank you. Oh, hey, good to see you again. Good to see you too. It's a great presentation. We like yeah, it. amazing, really amazing place. So, thank you. Place. Uh, like part of the competition. Oh, thanks. We're really, really happy yeah. with it. And, uh, yeah. Again, it's amazing that uh, that something like this is even possible today yeah. using the power it's of VR. Be like, it's, it's a bit big, uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Really the like idea of a like company of virtual the, campus is actually interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Big, big build. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, thanks. It's something that we, we hope to continue to okay, like evolve you that you know, as we go space, forward. Like uh, uh, you know, we see us host, hosting all kinds of live events in here and even getting the community involved in building this uh, out. Like we could even have like a sandbox where people kind of contribute like parts to the Arctic uh, campus itself. Like depends also a bit on how the There's a lot of opportunities and possibilities. Together that with is the true. Team and that's something okay, nice. thank you. Then, so yeah, we're just we're just gonna check it out, walk around. Yeah, please, please go, yeah, go. check it out. out. Thank you. Walk around. Thank you.